It has been an interesting year. Hello, understatement. It is time we take a step back, take a look at things. We're going to give you some really good financial tips to help you end the year strong. So grab that cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started. Hello, this is Michael Loftus for Wealth and Wisdom TV, where education is the key to a successful financial future. First time here, we do educational videos. We also do market updates, little outside the box of your typical Wall Street Big TV. Have a link here to our latest and welcome. First up, don't forget, click show more for additional information and links on today's video. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that big old like button. So we are in the middle of the year. It has been crazy, right? I could get all into that, but I think we've had enough of it as well. So let's take a step back and let's go through some things that are going to help you prepare for the end of the year. Let's start out with those folks 70 and a half or older. As you know, you must take required minimum distribution, RMD. Good news, 2020, you do not have to take that. Now that would include IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, any type of qualified accounts. Now, nice little benefit to your taxes in 2020, right? Because IRA distributions are taxed at your highest rate, okay? So let's say you need additional monies. Now, a lot of our clients will have an IRA, a Roth, and a taxable account, an investment account. So if you talk to your accountant, your financial advisor, you can put together some strategies where maybe you could take some money from a Roth. Maybe you're sitting on some cash, you have some losses, gains, we're gonna get into that. And we're able to achieve that objective without a big tax bill. So that is tip number one. Also for those seven and a half, charitable contributions. Remember, did a video on that here, on charitable contributions directly from your IRA, you can continue that as long as it goes directly from the custodian to the actual charity. Now, the next one, stretch IRA. We've talked about this quite a bit, have a video here on details, but a lot of rules have changed there. So I'm asking you at this time of year to check your beneficiaries. You might want to reconsider grandkids. Okay. We've had some folks do that. Why? Because the new rules, you have 10 years to take all those monies. Do you really want to give all that money to a young child? Something you, you should think about. Talk to your lawyer. Maybe you still do that distribution, but it goes into a trust after death. Next one, review your losses. Okay. Sure. We've had a good year in tech, right? The fangs have been driving this market up. But we've also had some other areas that are not doing so well. You might have some losses from February. So let's review some strategies as it pertains to taking those losses. Okay, first up, investment A. Probably tech based on this year. $50,000 investment, 20% gain, $10,000. Everybody's happy. $60,000 is where you are right now. Investment B, not so good. We could call this oil or something else, okay, year to date. Same 50,000 except we have a 20% loss. $10,000 loss and $40,000, not good. Now, what do you do here? What I wanna look at is we have a $10,000 gain I'd like to book that because investment A has gone a little bit too far and sell investment B, okay? Now, the key is you have to sell the holding in order to book that loss, so to speak, okay? So by selling, buying, selling, selling, buying, selling, buying, I'm going back and forth here. You're going to offset each of them. Now, disclosure, make sure you talk to your accountant. Some people have more complicated. You might have carry forwards. There's a lot of different things, but in its simplest form, this is what you do. Okay. Now let's say you like investment B because finally 
investment B is starting to show some life. Okay, and if you look at some of our videos, you'll see how we determine that, especially from a technical standpoint. So you sell this, but the reality is, okay, if you look at the S&P, there's five different S&P indexes, ETFs, et cetera. So you're selling this one, but you're buying that one. If you were to repurchase this within 30 days, you cannot take that loss. So that's real important, okay? So pretty simple, okay? Obviously, you wanna make sure you work with your advisor, accountant, or if you understand that yourself. So the next thing is, I just wanna get into it. In our videos, we do market updates, and I'll have that up here. Also, I recently did a video on the 60-40 portfolio is dead, and this is one of those charts. 2020 year to date, and you see really what's up this year is NASDAQ, okay, no surprise, treasuries. Now, of course, I could talk about gold and silver, but your typical allocation is negative, right? Smalls, mids, et cetera, banks, oil, et cetera. Be careful. Watch our most recent video, okay? Because I was watching CNBC the other day, and they're like, it's a time to buy banks. Is it, though? You've got rates at an all-time low, meaning 10-year treasury, Okay, they're not getting that gift from the Fed this quarter. So you have to be careful. Be mindful. I'll put up here our cycles. This is how we do things, all right? So hopefully you understood this. Questions, email, schedule an appointment, link below. Let's go back to our tips. Now, the last thing before I go on is just make sure you talk to your accountant. I always ask for a side-by-side -side comparison from the year prior to forecast, especially with what's going on with all these rule changes, okay? Next up, retirement plans, HSAs, et cetera. Make sure you're on target to max if you're able to, okay? And take a look at those. Also, make sure that you're checking your allocations there. Why? I mean, in our case, we have a lot of clients that still have retirement plans outside. Most people don't get a lot of advice Good time to take a look at those. Next up, let's go over your budgets, okay? I don't know about you, but I always go out to dinner at least once a week, sometimes twice a week when we bring the kids, whatever the case might be. We're not doing that based on current circumstances, okay? So when I've looked at my mon monthly budget, it's gone down quite a bit. So that's a good thing. Go through your budget, right? Money in, money out. It's that simple, okay? Or if you have a financial plan, we'll get into that. That's another thing that you can do, okay? So look at your budget, see where you are. Maybe you can boost your savings or put some of that money into some investments. Next up, let's check out those credit cards. Can you get better rates? I just did a transfer, got a better rate, okay? Always looking to do that. And then the points, that's a big thing now. I mean, from the points from one of my credit cards, my business credit card, I was recently able to buy a mini drone. Lots of fun, and technically it didn't cost me anything, but you know, with those points, I was able to do that. Along those same lines, review your credit report. So many different credit card companies, banks, et cetera. I pay for a service, I get updated every time shows up, and guess what? Just had something show up again, a car that wasn't even mine. Ugh, good news is I was able to get that removed. So hopefully you bring all this together and it's another reason to do a financial plan. We have a video here on the importance of a financial plan, okay? We have a link below for our Wealth and Wisdom viewers. We have a $9.99 deal. That's what we came up with, kind of obvious. Click below for more information. It's a great way to see where you are and where you want to go. Thanks so much for watching. Michael Loftus, Wealth and Wisdom TV.